All right, so here we have an altered uh, ending. Uh, ben Jordan has finally met up with uh, Cardinal Genovese, and he, he discovers that the ritual that he was about to perform at the New Year's has reaped no fruit. He has not been any, there's been no form of uh, magical power, and he wants Ben to commit, to kill him, and he asked him to kill him, and he, what he's going to do this time, he's going to walk away. Wait, where are you going? Back downstairs. I'm done with all this. Fine. Turn your back on the pathetic old man. What a guy. I just wanted to do what was right. No, no, don't do it. Damn. Ben, what happened up there? Nothing happened. It was all in his head. Genovese thought the relics would give him power, but they were just objects. Oh dear. Oh. All that trouble he caused. Anyway, he won't bother anybody anymore. You... you killed him? No, he killed himself. Jumped off the top of the tower. Oh, Ben. Wow. It's okay. I'm just glad this is all over. Let's get out of here before the cops show up and start asking questions. Don't worry about the police, Mr. Jordan. I'll take care of dealing with them. What's gonna happen with you now that there's no more nights at St. Anthony? An excellent question. Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what will happen next. But I'm going to try and make the most of whatever time I have left here. Thanks, Professor Jones. Uh, Percy. For all your help. It was my pleasure, Ben. There you go. Goodbye. You would have made your grandfather proud. I did the right thing. Well, no sense in dawdling about here. You and Miss Wilkins should go celebrate. It is the new year, after all. Goodbye to the both of you. It's certainly been an eventful few months. Shall we? Let's move on. Sometime later. After dropping Ben off at Waterloo Station, Otto Schneider returned to the Third Eye to resume his duties as doorman. Oblivious to the events in Paris, he spent the rest of his time in London with Madame Tilly. It's a happy ending. Eventually, Otto moved back to Germany, where he continued to dabble in paranormal investigating until he lost interest and decided to pursue his other lifelong dream, gourmet cooking. Madame Tilly Rosenquist continued amusing and scamming easily impressed tourists and locals alike at her shop with her theatrics. Unfortunately, her career was brought to an abrupt end after accidentally falling down her front stairs during a particularly hamming performance. As per her final request, her ashes were mixed into oil paints used to create a posthumous self-portrait which was later mailed to James Randi. Despite being angry about the whole being killed affair, Simon Booth was finally able to accept his death and find peace. He was also pleased to see that his memory and legacy were preserved by his friends. Alice Wilkins stayed with Ben for the next few days in Paris, celebrating the new year and the end of Cardinal Genovese's plans. A few months after returning home, Alice moved to Philadelphia, where she and Ben began cohabitating. Percival Quentin Jones decided to spend the remainder of his time on Earth visiting places he had never been. On his travels, he kept in contact with Ben and Alice and was pleased to hear all the good news they had to share with him. In the end, Percy left this world fulfilled and went on to reunite with his old friend Arthur, with whom he went on the next great adventure. Arthur Simon Jordan was born to proud parents Alice and Ben on November 3rd, 2008. He took after his mother and father, showing an unusual curiosity for things around him at an early age. As encouraging as Ben was towards his son, he couldn't help but hope in the back of his mind that he would never take up an interest in the paranormal. After spending the next few days in Paris celebrating with Alice, Ben returned home to Philadelphia. Much to his family's pleasure, he decided to quit paranormal investigating. 
few months after returning home, Alice moved in with him in Philadelphia. One year later, they were married, and a few years after that, their son was born. Ben decided his adventures would be of interest to the world, so he wrote a book about the ex his experiences as a paranormal investigator. It went on to become a bestseller. Ben often reflected on his time as a paranormal investigator. Despite the tragedies and hardships, he always regarded it with some fondness. The career of Ben Jordan, paranormal investigator, may have been short, but he learned more in those five months than most people do in a lifetime. Writing, Art and Scripting, Francisco Gonzalez. Music, Peter Gresser. AGF, AGS Engine, Chris Jones. Beta Testers, Edmundo Ruiz, Francisco Aruiz, Stephen Rolton. Marion Motion Capture Actors, Mario Flores, Yave Uriz, Isidka Vivancos, Francisco Gonzalez. Voice cast Ben Jordan, Eric Kirstein, Arthur Jordan, Drew Wellman, Percival Quentin Jones, Chris Jones, Alice Wilkins, Isika Vitranos, Simon Booth, Adam Cronin, Cardinal Genovese, Philip Sacramento, Donovan the Enforcer, Andy Marshall, British Librarian, Steve Wilton, Seamus. Ryan Keepins, Seminarian, Daily Baby Self Stephen, Father Flanagan, Shane Stevens, Otto Schneider, Tui Konzak, Madame Tilly Rosenquist, Becky Lay, Enforcer Number Two, Daniel Brom, Dragomir, Isla Van Leyten, Florian, Michael Steve Rangolis, Innkeeper, Adam Hay, Record Record Keeper, Tommy Kanokin. Bar Patron, Anthony Carboni. Strange Woman, Francisco Gonzalez. Soren Trells, Edwin Tyon. Enforcer Number 3, Francisco Gonzalez. Hostel Clerk, Miranda Golan. Sakhrakul Priest Number 1, Peter Gress. Sakhrakul Priest Number 2, Francisco Gonzalez. Urban Explorer, Jesse Gilmore. Map Seller, Yave Ruiz. Orsha Sister, Aaron Looney. Max, Gunnar Harbor, Antonia, Miranda Godlin. Here we have all those fine actors and actresses for the voices. Special thanks all the voice actors at Mando Ruiz, Steven Rulton, and the AGS community, you, for playing. Thank you gamers for watching. The end. I would appreciate it if you would like, favorite, comment, leave comments below, share, subscribe, and uh, ring my bell to get notified of the latest videos. This concludes our adventure. This is the happy ending version of Ben Jordan's Paranormal Investigator, case number eight, uh, Relics of the Past. Mission accomplished. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Stay frosty, gamers, and have a great summer. Bye. Back from the dead.